worldwide, there is a new case of dementia every 3.2 seconds. Um, it seems like, I don't know if this is true, but is Alzheimer's and dementia on the rise? Oh, yes. Yeah, it is. In fact, it went from not being even on the radar to being a top 10 killer. Um, now, it's interesting how people even die from Alzheimer's disease. It's a very kind of vague death. But yeah, Alzheimer's disease is one of the top 10 diseases now, um, certainly in the West. And, and I would argue it's because it has a metabolic origin. Now, one of the interesting things about Alzheimer's disease is we have spent billions of dollars on Alzheimer's research. Originally, and even in many people still, people thought that Alzheimer's disease is the result of these plaques accumulating in the brain. These kind of little proteinaceous, little thick things that are preventing neurons from sending the signals throughout the brain for the brain to think and, and, and have normal cognition. And, and yet there are those of us, and I'm proud to say I have long been one of them, who has said that the plaque-based theory doesn't make sense. We have had drugs that have been available for human use for years that have effectively reduced plaques in the brain and yet did nothing to improve cognition. So that is an immediate challenge of the plaque-based theory of Alzheimer's. About two or three years ago, they found out that the very first published papers that implicated plaque as a cause of Alzheimer's disease were based on fabricated data. Now, what did, what kept rising to the top, and I would hope now is the dominant theory, is that people with Alzheimer's disease almost always have some detectable instance of insulin resistance, if not full on diabetes, type two diabetes. Now I will say personally, I don't like the term type three diabetes because it makes it sound like it's a whole new version of diabetes. To say it more succinctly and accurately, it is simply insulin resistance of the brain. And the brain is a very hungry organ.